Okay guys, welcome back. Okay, in this session, uh, we're going to look into HTML editors. Okay, so um, we believe that using a simple text editor is a good way to learn basic HTML. So we have uh, various open source and paid version of text editor, but a web page, uh, web pages can be created and modified by using professional HTML editors. Okay, so for learning HTML, we recommend a simple text editor like Notepad. Uh, so if you guys using Windows, so you can use Notepad. Okay, uh, but if you guys do for those that using Mac, you can use text editor okay so there are variety a lot of more, lot more text editor at the market for example you can use Tom okay Atom okay, Atom is one of the uh, text editor that you can download and use it very nice UI okay Atom.io This is Atom. Okay. Alright. So you can change the color and so on. Okay. So this is one example of text editor. But I strongly recommend in my tutorial either you can use Visual Code Studio or Sublime Text like this one. Okay. Compared to text edit. Okay, so these three variety, these three different types of editor, you can use it in my, in our tutorial. Okay, now to use one of these, we're going to select. We're going to use which one? We're going to use no. I don't. I, okay, I don't like to use uh, default text editor. Okay. And either this one here. Yeah. I'm going to use Sublime. Okay, I'm going to use Sublime. Okay. To start, oh, Photoshop. Behind. Okay. Minimize Photoshop. Okay. So, this one. Okay. To use, uh, to write some HTML. Okay. So, we're going to write or copy some HTML to Notepad. So, now I'm going to write some HTML, some basic HTML okay, to show you how it works okay, start with top type actually okay. type HTML and HTML right, start with it and then title this is my closing back close the head and we start with the body so within this body element the content will be displayed to your browser okay so start with editing one this is Heading. Okay, closing for heading and open up paragraph. This is content and close paragraph. Okay, we close body and we also close HTML tag. Right? So, and then we're going to save this page. You can just save this document as a HTML page. Okay, you go to file, navigate to save as. Okay, so we're going to create a folder here. Okay, create new folder and name it as any file name that you're going to. You're going to name it as website. Okay, website. Mm, 
আছে না মাই রেজুমে ওকে গ্রেট আর ইনসাইড দিস রুট ফোল্ডার ওকে উই গোইং টু রিনেম ইট অ্যাজ ইনডেক্স ডট এইচ টি এল ওকে সো দ্য রুল ইজ এভরি মেইন পেজ অফ ইয়োর ওয়েবসাইট দ্য হোম পেজ or the first page of your website should be renamed as index.html so anyone that point to your website the server or the hosting or the domain name will find the first index file as your home page save it now the beauty of sublime text editor compared to not a pad or text editor or text uh, edit okay so once you save it as index as html document the editor will automatically detect this a uh, this is a uh, and html document so they highlighted every html element with red in color okay so once you save uh, this uh, document as an html document then we're going to preview our web page okay then we head to the folder that we're going to save this for okay i guess no this one this one okay either you right click open with or you just can just double click and it will show up in your browser see so compared to our sublime or compared to our text editor so here we have this is my web page here is the title look at the content within the body element this is for the element so as i said every content that displayed or we write it within body area element will be rendered and displayed on your in our browser so this is headings and this is content okay see what okay so file save and every changes that we got be done to our file okay you should save and then your browser we refresh the changes that we have done see all right okay that's all hope you can learn something from this session okay